Hello. Um, we're going to go over the different dissections. Um, this first one is going to be on the sheep eye dissection. But before that, I forgot to talk about, I think, I hope, I think so. I'm um, talking about the different layers, like talking about the eye. There's a difference. I talked about it. <laughs> um, dealing with the eye model, we had the different layers. So we had like the fibrous layer, the vascular layer, and the nervous layer. And the way that you, like, if they wanted you to have that as an answer, you would, mo you would most likely have a question like, um, the cornea and the sclera are part of what layer? But if they point it on a specific model, you would say, oh, that's the sclera or that's the cornea. If they have a dot on a model, that's dealing with this, the different parts in that layer. So then in your fibrous, so if they, your sclera is part of your fibrous layer, and so like your choroid is part of what layer? You would say, oh, that's part of the vascular layer. However, if they point on this different section on the model, you say, oh, that's the choroid. And the same thing with the nervous layer, you say, oh, that's the retina, but then it's like the retina is part of what layer? You would say, oh, that's part of the nervous layer. So that's just a little note for you um, about that. But now we're going to go into the sheep eye. So, uh, okay. So, um, we have, of course, we have the sclera, which is the white part of the eye. Then we have the cornea, which is this little thing right here. That's your cornea. You have your optic nerve, which, oh goodness, I don't want to put it over your computer. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yes, okay. There's a little thing right there, this little hard dot thing that you can see right here, this the end. That's called your, that, that's your optic nerve. Let's see if it's better on this one. Oh, this one's, I think, better. See that little light area right there? That is your optic nerve. Extrinsic muscles, those are the muscles that you see that kind of just go off right here. That's your, like, this is your muscles. They're little muscles, like, they're pretty much like around your, the back side of your eye. So those are your extrinsic muscles. We have your ciliary bodies, which is, let me see it through here. Okay. Uh -huh. Where the black and Okay. <laughs> Where the black ends, this, this part right there, that's your ciliary bodies. Okay. Well, this is pretty much the black, <laughs> see, see the, the black area. The black area is called your ciliary bodies. Um, the iris, though, is, if you see in the front part, it's like, oh, goodness. You can see in the back is where, Okay. I'm going to say this, and that's how the test will be like. It's <laughs> ciliary body is like the one that's a little bit more outer, but the one that's like a little closer, you can't really see it because you can't see the dimensions of the different layers. There's different, you can see um, the innermost layer is a little smoother, and that is your iris. Well, the, the one that's a little more, um, has more lines in it because it has a little, a little bit more fibrous, that is your ciliary body. So... That's how it's supposed to be like, but you can't really see it through the screen. Because it looks all black. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but the inner, the, the one that's close towards the middle, that's your iris. And it's a little bit thinner and a little bit smoother. Well, on the outer is your ciliary bodies. And it's a little bit more, it has more lines in it. Alright? We have your lens, which is this thing right here. Ooh, don't let it drop. This is your lens. Um... You also have your retina and your different other parts. So um, you have your retina, which is the white part in the back right here. All right, so the white part. The black is the pigmented coral coat, while this little bluish area right here, that's your tapetum lucidum. So the retina is actually like a layer under the um, um, pigmented coral coat, which is this little, oh goodness. Yeah, so the white is the... Right here, that's your retina. Then you have the black, which is the pigmented cord coat, and then you have the blue layer, which is the tapetum lucidum. You also have the optic disc, which is not really something you can see, but it's on the other side. So if your if your optic nerve is going in, in the inside of your in your eye, it's like that point right there. So it's like generally in that in the middle part right there, of where your optic disc would connect to. Yeah. 
So that's your sheet pie. Um, we'll do another video for that. Okay. So yeah. So that is it for um, dissection for lab. What lab is this? This is lab eleven. Okay. All right. And go on to the next video about sheep brain. Hello, um, this is lab 9 dissection and this is on the sheep brain. So this is your sheep brain. <laughs> um, you have first is your cerebral hemisphere which is pretty much this one side of your of your cerebrum. This is your cerebral hemisphere. You of course you have the frontal lobe which is the front part, parietal is in the middle part and your occipital lobe is in the back. Um, you have your cerebellum which is this little part right here. This is your cerebellum. Um, you have your arbor vitae, which is, of course, is the branches that you can see that can come off. This is really, I'm not going to put it over your computer. I'm not going to do that. This is this. It's okay. juicy. It's juicy. So it's little branches that come off. Um, you have the fourth ventricle, which is this section right here, where you're kind of like all the branches that we go, they connect to right here right here. So that's your that's your fourth ventricle. Um, you have also your your pons. So that your pons is this little bump right here. Medulla oblongata is the second bump below that. So medulla oblongata. Then you have the uh, pons. You have the optic chiasma. Oh shoot. Um Yeah. <laughs> this is difficult as it is. So that's your pituitary, I think. Okay. So your other chasm, it doesn't show on here. Oh, it's broken. I think it's broken up. But you need, but you need, but you can see them on most of them. Oh, the, str oh, the struggle. Yes. Okay. So the other chasm is before the pin the um, pituitary. So this is the pituitary. And then your optic chiasma, your pituitary. This little bump right here, the one that goes before that is your optic chiasma. Um, you have the corpus callosum, which is the top line. Ooh, okay. Uh, the top line right here, that's your corpus callosum. You have the fornix, which is the bottom line, which is above your thalamus. It looks like mush, doesn't it? Like to you, like through the screen, you can. It just looks like mush right now, but really, if you see it, it, there's actually a clear distinction where there's like a there's a little area. It's very similar to the model. So if you know what the model looks like, you can get a general idea of what it looks like in the sheep brain. So this is your corpus callosum. It's the top line, and, and then you have the septum pellucidum, of course, in the middle. Then you have the for uh, the fornix, that's the bottom line, above your thalamus. Um. You have your lateral ventricle, which is, of course, in between your corpus callosum and your fornix. So your septum pellucidum is, is the same general area of your... Um, your septum pellucidum is the same general area of your uh, lateral ventricle. Oh! I can't see the screen. I think this one you can see better. This one... Mm. This one? Corpus callosum is the top line, fornix is below, then the septum pellucidum or the lateral ventricle you can actually see in between. Yeah. So you see the little the space in between. That's your septum pellucidum or your lateral ventricle. The line above that, that is your corpus callosum, and the bottom line is, is your fornix. I've been saying that over like for like the past two minutes. So <laughs> yeah, that's that. Um, oh, actually, there we can see better. <gasps> I was going to say, I think it's just so much better. Okay. Optic chiasma, this thing that comes off. That's optic chiasma. You have your... Um, next you have is the intermediate mass of the thalamus, which is the, little, this is the point right in the, in the middle of your, um, of your thalamus. There's a little point right there in the middle. Um, you have your cerebral peduncle. Which is this space, this thing right here? Can't. Is this section right here, 
which is like where your pawns area would be. Like, so this area right here, this is your, wait, am I saying the right thing? Yeah, cerebral peduncle. Did I say cerebral peduncle? Oh, get it, it's a long day. This is your cerebral peduncle, right here. So your cerebral peduncle, you have your optic chiasma, then you have your pineal gland, which is the gland back here. It's right here. So this you have here, you have the corporal quadrumina, then the pineal glands up here. Pineal gland, corporal quadrumina, and is that it? No. <laughs> I'm getting tired. No. No. <laughs> um. Get all these brains. Okay. Um, you have here the olfactory bulb, which is this little thing right here. It's a little actually. It's a little thing that goes up, and there's a little bulb thing right here. Yep. That is your olfactory bulb. You have your optic nerve. That's where your optic chiasma is. So if you know where the optic chiasma, where's the one that optic chiasma? Well, your optic chiasma, there's, there's a little nerve that comes off of that, of your, yeah. The thing that comes off your optic chiasma is your optic nerve. Um, mammillary body is, you can see here, it's the bottom of the one by, so this right here, this is your um, pituitary gland. The one behind that, you see right here, is your um, mammillary bodies. I'm slowing down mentally. Um, and yeah, that is it for your sheep brain. Good luck on this. <laughs> Happy studying! Uh, this thing forever.